Jurassic World is empty. We're gonna need to get some dinosaurs. All right, I know where to find some. Let's go. All right, pals, it's Rich, and I'm back with a crazy video. I'm gonna show you my entire dinosaur collection. This is box number one. I'm not gonna waste time. I'm gonna bang them out and try to line them all up in the entire set. I think we're gonna fill the set pretty quick. So hang on, and here we go. All right, here is dinosaur number one. A big T-Rex from Animal Planet. Let's stick him in the back over there. Styracosaurus. Cool, these are nice squishy rubbery guys. Let's we'll stick him on this side over here. Next we got a Triceratops. I don't know who made this. Could be Play School Triceratops. Let's we'll stick him over here. Maybe we'll do herbivores and carnivores. Oh no. Does anybody know who this guy is? He's missing his arms. They broke off. But if you remember him from the video, he is a T-Rex. I think he's called uh, Wexter. And he has machine gun arms. So let's stick him over with the T-Rex. Ah, this guy. Remember him from the video. He's a motorized guy. Let's see. There he goes. I think he was one of those real annoying ones. All right, get over here. All right, we're going to put him over here with the T-Rexes. And talking about annoying, here is an annoying Stegosaurus. His batteries are out. And we'll throw him over there. And look, it's another annoying one. Styracosaurus. Actually, he's not that annoying. He's not that bad, that guy. All right, and then we got... Get out of here. Then we got a raptor. This is another animal planet. He's rubbery. Stick him back with his buddy. Oh, nice. Jurassic World T-Rex. This is the one with the biting action. It's one of the first Jurassic World toys we got. I'm going to stick him with the T-Rex. It's over here, too. And staying with the T-Rex, we got another Jurassic World. This is the Play School T-Rex. This guy is really cool. Remember, he does the biting action. He's one of my favorite younger kid dinosaur toys. He's really cool. I love the biting action. All right, let's stick him over there. We got the T-Rex, the hybrid T-Rex. You see that? He's got the the spike reveal and he makes some cool noises and he's got the chomping real cool all right over there this is one of my favorite ones that I've that I've ever had in the collection this is the Spinosaurus from Animal Planet and I think he works yeah there he goes he works like this and he makes the Godzilla noise so pretty cool I like it. he also lights up his tail fin here so he is all he is one of my favorite out of all the dinosaurs I have. Alright, here's another one. This is the uh, big T-Rex projector. He projects images on the wall. He has got discs in them that you can you can switch and swap out and show you a bunch of different dinosaurs. It's really kind of cool. He's also a room guard motion detector, so you can put him by the door of your room, and if somebody tries to come in your room, he starts to go crazy. It's really cool. Now here is Animal Planet Triceratops. This guy's also real, real, uh, he's big, and he's real rubbery. So good for younger kids, but very realistic looking too. No moving parts, but you can't get hurt with it. So we'll stick him over with the herb. Oh, nice. What do we have here? Parasophilophus? Cool. So let's stick him over here. You're going to have a lot to clean up. Ah, what is this? This is an underwater sea creature. This is an underwater dinosaur, an Elasmosaurus. He is a very cool one. I believe this is Animal Planet too. It's a nice dinosaur. Awesome, awesome. Thinking about this guy. He looks like the Loch Ness Monster, doesn't he? So, real cool put him over there and then the pteranodon he's also animal planet he's also rubbery again very realistic he's big he's great for younger kids so real cool put him right in the middle and we got a dimorphodon from jurassic world 
This guy's real cool. He's got the injury indicator. And I think he chomps a little bit. Makes some noise. His wings flap. Oh no. There you go. That's how his mouth chomps by flapping his wings. I think he came with the uh, Dimorphodon vs. Helicopter set. Then we've got Stegosaurus. This is a real cool colored Stegosaurus. I don't exactly recall where he came from. He doesn't have any markings on him, but it's a nice, nice dinosaur. Now who do we got here? He's another Animal Planet one. He's squeezy, soft, and he is a Brachiosaurus. Really cool. You can tell by the bump on his head up here. Stick him over with the herbivores over there. Next, we got Jurassic World Raptor. So this guy's real cool. I, get, I think he's play school. He's got some great noises. I love this guy. He's a, he's a good toy. He's safe and he's fun. All right, now this guy is a Ceratosaurus. He came with one of the Jurassic World sets too, but I just can't remember what set he came with. You can tell by the one little spike on his head that that's what he is. He kind of looks like a T-Rex. We got another Stegosaurus. And what is this? An Allosaurus. And this guy looks like a Patasaurus. I think he was with the Animal Planet set. Ah, and then we've got a Jurassic World Raptor. Which one is he? I don't know. But he's got the chomping action. Cool. Put him over here with the raptor section. We've got this guy here. He's kind of a basic dinosaur. What is he? Is he an Allosaurus? I think he's maybe an Allosaurus. Put him over here. And then this guy with the big skull. He's definitely what? A T-Rex. So cool T-Rex. He's he got a cool, a cool bent tail, curved tail, but pretty standard. Then who do we got? We got Indominus. Cool, this is the first Indominus Rex we ever got. He's got the chopping action. He's got the meat reveal for injuries. So he's a real cool. He was our first, first, first ever Jurassic World toy. Love this toy. Let's put her over there. And then what do we got? Ugh, we got a rubber. It's a rubber T-Rex. Hey man, what's up? Stick that one over there. And then what do we got? Oh, cool. It is. Who is this guy? Is he. Is this blue? It's blue. No, maybe it's not blue. But you can see this came with the um, Raptors and a motorcycle Jurassic World playset, which also Christopher Pratt came on in this motorcycle when they went hunting in Dominus. All right, cool, put this over here, put him over there. And what do we got, another robber one. Hmm, who's this guy with all the spikes on him? I am not sure what the name of this guy is. So if you know who this is, put it in the comments, pals. What, it's a skeleton, ah! I think this guy was the skeleton of a raptor, I think. And then we got a Triceratops. Cool. And then, oh, maybe it is a Kentrosaurus, I think. And I think this guy is too. Just off the top of my head, it came to me finally. Or maybe not. Look, the tails are different. One of these is a Kentrosaurus anyway. Eh, who knows which one? And then, what do we have here? We've got a raptor. Look at the claws coming up. Real cool. He could be either a Velociraptor or a Utah Raptor. Or just a raptor. Either way. And then another cool raptor, you can see again, the toes come up, the inner toes, claws come up. That's the biggest sign. I think this, this would be considered a Velociraptor because they kind of did have some feathers on them, or some people think they did. But I think that this would be a Velociraptor. Uh-oh, who's coming? Oh, check this guy out. Blah, 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 blah. Hey man, what's up? I don't know where this guy came from. I totally forget. I think he was part of a game of some type. Oh yeah, he goes down like that. That's it, he goes down like that and then he comes up. I don't know what he what he was from. If anybody remembers which video this guy came from, put it in the comments too, because I can't remember. Just put orange dinosaur 
this toy. Maybe it was like a Matchbox toy. I, I have no idea. All right, cool. This next one is a Spinosaurus. He's a mechanical one. I forgot what he did. I think he just went forward. There he goes. Oh yeah, he was annoying noise, but real cool. Look at the look at the uh, action he's got. The light up action is real cool on this guy. I remember him now. He's a real nice dinosaur. Not as bad as some of the other ones. Although I wish he would stop with the with the Godzilla screech every two seconds. All right, and then here we go. Jurassic World Raptors. This was part of the Raptor set that we got, the Raptor pack. And this is blue. So we got blue, cool blue, go back there. All right, everybody, settle down. And another Raptor from the Jurassic World Raptor pack. This is Delta. So real cool to have the whole pack from Jurassic World. Those guys are awesome. Let's see if I can find the other ones. Oh. Is that one of them? No, this is not. Now, who is this? I believe that this is a Giganotosaurus, a real cool dinosaur, big meat eater carnivore. I think he was the biggest during his period as well. So let's put him over here. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. And then we got, what, a generic Allosaurus. Put him over there. And then another one from the Jurassic World Raptor Pack. This is Echo. I believe it's Echo. So really cool. Look at the tail on Echo. Echo's a nice dinosaur as well. All right. And oh, this guy is one of my favorite all-time dinosaurs. This is an old school T-Rex. Real cool. It's, he's kind of narrow in the face, but he's got really cool detail. I love him. He was the lead pitcher dinosaur on the first dinosaur collection we did almost two years ago. And look who it is. It's another T-Rex, which is cool one as well. I think this is a Schleich T-Rex. I'm not 100% sure. There's no markings on it. Well, probably not. And then what do we have here? We got a Brachiosaurus. Awesome. Okay, stick you over there. We got a lot more carnivores than we do herbivores at this point. But they're certainly piling up. Let's take a quick look. Here's the aerial shot. I'm gonna have to do something and line these up a little bit and organize them. Here's another one of my favorite dinosaurs. This is the Playmobil T-Rex. He is really cool because he's got these rubber feet on the bottom. He just is really good quality. He doesn't have the superior detail that some of these have, but he, I like him a lot. He's just a real high quality dinosaur. His head moves real nice, his arms move, his legs move, his tail doesn't move, but still, I like this dinosaur a lot. He's one of my favorites. Oh, and what do we got? We got another one of these mechanical dinosaurs. Another annoying one. This is one of the most annoying ones, I think. He's very loud, and he's very annoying. He looks a lot cooler than he is, but he's not bad. I mean, you know, come on. We'll put him back there. Uh-oh, we're running out of room. All right, then we got another blue. Take a look. It's another blue, and his battery wore out. He used to be have the damage indicator, but it doesn't work anymore. So this is a little smaller blue. All right, and then we've got a pair of T-Rexes from Jurassic World. These guys, I think, are the... Yeah, they do a, do a biting action. They were stars of uh, Trump's Jurassic World, I think. If I recall, here's another... Parasophilophus. Ah, what's this guy? Now that's an interesting one. This, we don't have many like that. Is I, I believe that's a Diplodocus because of the extremely long tail. So let's put him over here. And then next we got what? Just a nice Stegosaurus. Another T Rex. I'm trying to keep out the dupes, but this is obviously a dupe. And we got who? We got Foam. What movie is he from? Rudy! He's Rudy, I believe. He's a Spinosaurus. He's supposed to be, anyway. He doesn't really look like one. But Rudy the Spinosaurus. Another T-Rex. All right, then we got another... Oh, this is a Chasmosaurus, I believe. Yeah, he looks... You can tell with the big plate he's got and the markings. 
so really cool. And then we've got, oh, another one of the Velociraptors from Jurassic World. I uh, forgot which one this was, but let's just stick them over there. And then look, we got a pooping dinosaur. Remember, you put the candies in here, and then you sit them down, whoop, and the poop comes out. So, he was a real cute one. And you got, oh, look at that, Stegosaurus, nice. And then, boom. I believe this is a Dilophosaurus. He's a, he's a good looking representative. I believe he was an Animal Planet one too. So cool. All right, we got to organize. All right, so here's where we stand so far. I got them packed in tight. You can see it looks pretty crazy, but I got some room. I got some room for more and I got plenty more. So let's bust out some more. All right, we're gonna get into some more unique dinosaurs. Remember this guy? I covered him with Play-Doh. It's a skeleton covered with Play-Doh. You can see it, Play-Doh peeled off here about, I don't know, eight, nine months ago. And this is what he looks like now. His arms fell off, but he's still in one piece. If you remember him, I put him on a turntable and spun him around to pick which egg we were gonna open. It was pretty crazy. So let's put him back there. And then another special dinosaur we have is the Trumposaurus. Yes, it is the Trumposaurus. He was from Trump's Jurassic World, remember, at the end, the dinosaurs took him and put him in the huge machine and turned him into a dinosaur. So Donald Trump's running for president. Should be interesting to see what happens. But the Trumposaurus is one of the more unique ones we anyone has. This one was from an Animal Planet video. Uh, I'm trying to think what his name is. Um, not quite sure. He's kind of colored like the Spinosaurus, but not quite. I think he's something like a Argmensaurus or something along those lines. So if you know who this is, put it in the comments. Help me out. I'm sorry, my memory is fading. And we've got a couple more cool ones for you. This is a Dimorphodon. I believe this is a Schleich figure. Yep, it's by Schleich. He's a really neat looking dinosaur too. I'm sorry, he's a really neat looking flying reptile. And then, what do we got? We got one of the Chomper guys. Jurassic World Chomper. I think he's a Dilophosaurus. See, the Jurassic World. Cool. And then, whew, Cool, we got the Pterosaur. This is one of the coolest flying reptiles. Flying reptiles there ever was. And then, what? The Archaeopteryx. This is the original bird they called, but he is related to flying lizards. They did consider him, you know, one of the first birds. All right, and then we've got another Jurassic World Chompers. He's a Spinosaurus. He's got a little bit of an injury uh, right there, but that's just, you know, to make it a little bit more fun to play, but really cool one. And here we go with the Giganotosaurus, also known as and commonly called a Gigantosaurus, but that's not what he is. So kind of cool with the spikes all the way down him. Or were they feathers? Not quite sure. And then what do we got? Yeah, we got an Oviraptor. Pretty cool. Look at the detail work on him. He kind of looks like a chicken up top, but he's sitting on a nest of eggs. Pretty cool. And then another Jurassic World T-Rex Chompers. Cool. And we got some more herbivores. Who's this guy? I'm gonna say he is a Brontosaurus. No, only kidding. He's a Brachiosaurus, I believe. Yeah, he's a Brachiosaurus. You can tell by the bump on his head, even though it's kind of real narrow. Still got a bump on his head. And here's his brother, another Brachiosaurus. Cool. And then here comes his cousin. He's not a Brachiosaurus, what is he? But I'm gonna say he's a Patasaurus. So move him along. And then a real cool colored Stegosaurus. And an Ankylosaurus. He's a real cool one. He had a big fight scene with the Indominus in Jurassic World. Speaking of Indominus, here he is. This is the hybrid armored Indominus that we just saw in a video we did with all the Indominus Rexes. So he's real new. He just came out. When I say just came out, September of 2016. 
And then who do we have? We've got the Big Indominus. Sweet. Yeah, this is the original Big Indominus Rex. Remember, he goes. I'm sorry, she goes. She's a very impressive dinosaur. And then the other new. Oh, here, here she comes. Oop. The other new Indominus that we just picked up in stores. This is a really cool one too. It's got a lot of cool features, such as you can crank up the arm. And she does the bite in action. On this side, there's a button you could push to do the spike reveal up top. Wow, that's a cool dinosaur. You can see we have a whole bunch more medium-sized dinosaurs. And I've got another huge box of dinosaurs that I can't find. There's all kinds of big, cool ones in it, including the Pachycephalosauruses. So I'll make a separate video when I find that called Missing Box of Dinosaurs. What I have is one big bucket of small dinosaurs. Just an incredible amount of dinosaurs in here. And then I actually have another bucket of dinosaurs. So we've got two more huge buckets of dinosaurs and some other things, eggs, whatnot. Oh, and I almost forgot we've got the good dinosaur dinosaurs. Let's take those out. So the first figure we have is Thunderclap. Thunderclap, you remember, he was pretty much the bad guy, the villain of the movie when he just went around and scavenged after the storm. Pretty cool character. Then you have Forrest Woodbush. Remember him? He was kind of like hanging out in the woods. He wanted to get as many pets as he could to hang out with him so that he was safe. He was kind of into the zen. He was kind of a strange character. And then you had Bubba. He was also a bad raptor guy. But again, pretty cool character. And of course, you got Arlo. Hey, Arlo. We got a whole bunch of different Arlos. Then you've got Butch. This is an actual eraser Butch. We've got a whole bunch of different Butches. And what else? Another small Forest Woodbush. And I found a couple more containers of dinosaurs. These were the mutant dinosaurs. If you remember the extractors, which were pretty wild. Definitely take a look at Mutant Dinosaur Fight Club if you haven't. So that's it. So what I want you to do, pals, is put in the comments, did you see any animals that were not dinosaurs or flying lizards in this video? It was tricky. There's one in there somewhere, I guarantee you. Take a close look. Put it in the comments if you find the one animal that's not a dinosaur or a flying reptile. And the hint is it's not in the little boxes either. It's not in that little box. It's not in that little box. It's not in there. It's somewhere out. I didn't identify them. I just snuck them in there when you weren't looking. So what are we going to do with all these dinosaurs? Well, we're going to do two things. We're going to keep a bunch of them that we use in our skits. Then we're going to donate some to charity, to kids who don't have any toys. And then we're going to have a huge giveaway in our next video on Toy Pals TV where we give away a box of dinosaurs, dinosaur eggs, excavation kits, all kinds of cool stuff that we have that you've been seeing on this channel for the last couple years. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when that video comes out and you'll be part of the big giveaway and a chance to win a whole box of really cool dinosaurs. So put in the comments which was your favorite out of all these dinosaurs. I know I got a bunch more somewhere else. I think I got another huge container. But I want to know which one did you think was the coolest out of them all. And remember, subscribe, like the video, and thanks for watching. Take care, pals. We'll see you soon. I'd say that Jurassic World is now full. Woo! Watch another video. Watch Dinosaurs vs. Sharks spin the wheel game, or watch Dinosaurs vs. Godzilla spin the wheel game. Or click the eye on the top right of the screen for more videos from Toy Pals TV.